Dear students, in the previous classes, we have discussed the methods of calculating the earthwork quantities for a road, both in embankment and in cutting. In today's class, let us solve VTU question papers, which are normally repeated in the exams. Let us take up a problem where it involves a vertical drop at given cross section of the road. Problem statement. Estimate the quantity of earthwork from chain age 20 to 26 measured with a standard 20 meter chain from the following data using mid-sectional area method. The formation level at chain age 20 is 88.5 and the road has a rising gradient of 1 in 100. The formation width of the road is 10 meter and side slopes in cutting 1 is to 1 and in banking 2 is to 1. Draw the longitudinal section of the proposed road. Note that the length of chain is 20 meter, what is mentioned in the problem. This problem is solved using mid-sectional area method. Chainages are given as 20, 21, 22 meter up to 26 meter. Note that the peg interval is equal to one chain length is equal to 20 meter. RLs of ground at these chainages are also given. Also note that chain age 23 has two reduced levels which indicates there is a vertical drop as shown in the sketch of uh, longitudinal section below. Given that formation is rising at a gradient of 1 in 100 which means for every 100 meter horizontal there is 1 meter vertical. Therefore for every chain length of 20 meter horizontal how much is the vertical? Is, which is equal to 20 by 100 is equal to 0 0.2 meter. Knowing formation level at 20th chain age is equal to 88.5 meter, the chain ages of subsequent stations are calculated by adding 0 0.2 meter successively. Example, 88.5 plus 0.2 is equal to 88.7. 88.7 plus 0.2 is equal to 88.9 and so on, which is shown in the solution table in the next slide. Assuming certain datum, the ground levels are marked and profile is drawn. At 23rd chain age, mark two points corresponding to the reduced levels given 88.2 and 90.4. If the formation level is above the ground level, then it is filling. If the formation level is below the ground level, then it is cutting. Compare formation level and ground level and calculate corresponding depth of filling or depth of cutting. Look at this calculation table. Formation width B is equal to 10 meter written at the top of this table. S is equal to 1 for cutting and S is equal to 2 for banking. Cutting is shown as negative in the fifth column. Column 1, chainages are written. Note that chainage 23 has two rows since there is vertical drop at that section. Column 2 gives the distance of those chain stations from the starting point. It is the multiples of 20 meters because length of the chain used is equal to 20 meter. Column 3 gives the ground level as per the data given. Column 4 gives the formation level which are calculated based on the gradient of the road. As per the data, there is an increment of 0.2 meter rise in the successive station points. Column 5 gives depth of cut or depth of filling which is calculated by comparing the ground level and formation level. Column 6 gives the average depth. Column 7 gives the area of the central rectangle. Column 8 gives the areas of the two side triangles. Column 9 gives total area. Column 10 gives the quantity of filling and column 11 gives the quantity of cutting. Total filling and total cutting are calculated at right bottom of the tabla column. Typical calculations are also shown below the tabla column. Note carefully that in column 6, while calculating the mean depth, average of filling and average of cutting are done separately. And here the problem ends. 
let us move on to problem 4 problem statement estimate the cost of earthwork for a portion of the road from the following data formation width of road is 10 meter side slopes are 2 is to 1 in filling and 1.5 is to 1 in cutting the cost of filling is rupees uh, 180 per meter cube and the cost of cutting is rupees 120 per meter cube data table is given row 1 gives the changes from 0 40 80 meter up to 280 meter thus the peg interval is equal to the difference of successive changes that is equal to 40 meter row 2 gives the rl of ground level say 100.6 100.2 and so on third row tells the condition that formation is at rising gradient of 1 in 400 which means for every 400 meter horizontal there is a rise of 1 meter therefore for every 40 meter peg interval what is the rise so which is calculated as 40 divided by 400 is equal to 0.1 meter as shown now look at the solution part if you plot the ground profile it is observed that the ground level and formation level intersects at a section between 160th and 200th meter changes as shown depth of filling at 160th meter change is equal to 0.6 meter and depth of cut at 200 meter change is equal to 0.4 meter refer the solution table in the next slide let the intersection point is at a distance of x meter from the left 160th meter change as shown using similar triangle principle x is calculated and found to be 24 meter therefore change of intersection point is equal to 160 plus 24 is equal to 184 meter note that extra row for 184 meter change is added in the table this is the important point to be remembered in this problem rise in ground level at the intersection point is 0 0.06 meter above the ground level at 160th meter change therefore rl of intersection point is equal to rl of 160th meter change plus 0 0.06 meter is equal to 101.4 plus 0 0.06 is equal to 101.46 meter now refer the solution table table column in the next slide formation width and slopes are written at the top of the table columns are numbered from 1 to 11 column 1 gives the ch changes which is ranging from 0 meter to 280 meter at 40 meter peg interval note that the row for 184 meter change in the first column column 2 gives the reduced level of ground as per the data given column 3 gives the calculated values of formation level based on the gradient of the road there is an increment of 1.1 meter rise for every 40 meter horizontal distance column 4 gives the depth of cut or depth of filling which is calculated by comparing the ground level and formation level cutting is referred as negative sign column 5 gives the mean depth and column 6 gives the area of the central rectangle column 7 gives area of two side triangles column 8 gives the total area column 9 gives the peg interval that is horizontal distance between the successive stations column 10 gives the quantity of filling and column 11 gives the quantity of cutting total Filling and total cutting are calculated at the right bottom of the tabular column. Typical calculations are also shown below the tabular column. Cost of filling and cost of cutting are calculated and totaled. To this total add the cost 3% contingencies and 2% for work charged establishment and find the grand total. For the problem 
it is found to be rupees 4,52,471 and here the problem ends. Problem 5 is given for a practice. Similar type of problem has been solved before. Hence, you have to solve it on your own and contact me if in the case of difficulty. Regards.